Have you ever found yourself in a relationship that feels more like a burden than a blessing? One where you constantly feel drained, unhappy, and unfulfilled? If so, you're not alone. Many people find themselves stuck in toxic relationships, unable to break free, no matter how hard they try. But why is this? Why is it so difficult to leave a toxic relationship even when we know it's not good for us? In this video, we'll explore the psychological and emotional reasons why people stay in toxic relationships and why leaving isn't always as simple as it seems. But it's not just about understanding why we stay, it's also about learning how to break free and move on to a healthier, happier life. We'll discuss strategies for leaving a toxic relationship and how to heal and grow from the experience. So let's explore. Emotional attachment. Do you easily get attached to other people? Even when the relationship is toxic, it's actually quite common to develop a strong emotional attachment to your partner. According to a well-known psychotherapist and author, Susan Anderson, this attachment can be influenced by your childhood experiences with attachment figures, like your parents. She suggests that when you develop an attachment to someone, you create an idea of the person and what the relationship should look like. And it can be challenging to change that idea, even when the relationship isn't working for you anymore and it can make it tough for you to leave it. You might be afraid about being alone or losing what you treasure in a relationship like happy memories or shared experiences. You may also be anxious that your partner will feel devastated if you end things, especially if you've done things together for years. But attachment is like an addiction. Your toxic partner is the toxic drug that is not good for you and you need to break that addiction if you wanna live a healthy life. Just ask yourself, if you leave this toxic relationship, will you really lose everything? Or are you willing to lose yourself just to protect the attachment that you have? Low self-esteem. Are you confident? When you're in a relationship with a toxic partner, having a low self-esteem can be tough. Your partner might disapprove of the way you look or try to trick you into believing that you're doing the worst job, which can make you believe that you're not worthy of anything, including love. Dr. Lillian Glass, who's an expert in communication and psychology, has explained in her book, Toxic People, 10 ways of dealing with people who make your life miserable. The toxic people can use different methods to control their partner, which can leave you feeling like you're not enough or undeserving. It's not easy to overcome these beliefs, but Dr. Glass recommends identifying the warning signs of a toxic relationship and getting help from a professional to rebuild your self-esteem. By setting boundaries or even ending the relationship, you can take the first step towards valuing yourself in a healthier way. Fear of change. Does the idea of change upset you? It can be really overwhelming if you're trying to break away from a toxic relationship. As Dr. Susan Heitler, a clinical psychologist and author, explains, it's not just about leaving the relationship, it's also about letting go of the life you've built with your partner, which can be a lot to handle. This might mean moving to a new city, getting a new job, and changing your social circles. If you've been in a relationship for a long time, change can feel scary. You might feel like you're starting with a blank slate or feel anxious about the future, which can stop you from taking necessary action. However, a change is an opportunity for you to start something new. Always keep in mind that you deserve better. And sometimes that means taking baby steps towards a better future. Manipulation. According to domestic violence expert, Lundy Bancroft, abusers use manipulation methods like emotional abuse, isolation, and physical violence to get what they want from their partner. Victims may feel helpless, which makes it difficult for them to leave the relationship. You may think that your partner has power over you and you can't do anything about it, but that's not true. What are some things that make you feel powerful? Figure them out and do them. Claiming back your power can quash that voice inside you saying you're powerless. It's important to give yourself the time and space to figure out what you want and need in a relationship. And if you're struggling to find a way out of a toxic relationship, know that there is support available. Whether it's talking to a trusted friend or family member, reaching out to a therapist or finding a support group, there are people who care about you and want to help. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship that makes you feel respected, valued, and loved. Do you resonate with any of these reasons? Let us know in the comments. Also remember to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, and remember, you matter.